おはようございます。Good morning, everybody. Thank you for joining me and welcome back to another video. So, it is、uh, just past 9 a.m. here in Hibiya. Yes,、uh, I just checked out of my hotel and、um, I decided to stop by for some decaf at Starbucks here in Hibiya. And look how beautiful this place is. We're right in the middle of Tokyo. I like the fact that there's all this. Nice seating area, a lot of space, a lot of open space. So, today we're gonna take a walk around one of my favorite parks, Hibiya Koe, Hibiya Park. I always take you guys to Ueno, which is, of course, one of my other favorite parks.、Um, but I don't think I've ever taken you guys here. Look at this seating area. This is probably my favorite area. It's all fake grass, of course, but it's so nice. So nice, it feels like you're at the park. I also like the fact that they've placed a lot of plants here. Before we go to the park, I just want to show you really quickly all the different seating areas here. These are for solo solos for one person. So that comes with a chair and a table. Of course, you have these、uh, larger tables and chairs. Like this one area is particularly my favorite. Right here, it's hidden behind these、uh, tropical plants. Look at this, isn't it pretty? I appreciate this so much. I appreciate spaces like this in the city. A more seating area here. And look, it's all this fake grass here. Even this. This is like fake dirt. Yeah, this is currently now have become one of my favorite Starbucks in Tokyo. So, this place is called Hibikoku Terasu. And、um, oh, look at that! <laughs> look at these chairs. I wonder if you can sit here as well. And the place is located one floor. Below street level, and this is where I was just a moment ago enjoying my decaf. And this place is just not even a block away from the place I'm going to take you guys. We've just entered the grounds of Hibiya Park, and there's this very nice building. I, I think this is a library. I think, I'm not quite sure. Sorry, this was not the library. This was the Hibiya Public Hall. The library is next to this building. That's the building, Hibiya Public Hall. You really have to look at it close up to appreciate all the little details, though. Anyway, I forgot to ask, how are you guys doing today? What's the weather like where you are? So, so to my right, there's this、uh, large expanse of space. It's quite popular. Amongst、uh, the businessmen, the salarymen. They like to sit here after lunch and just soak up the sun. But we're gonna go this way today. It's funny because、um, I personally haven't really been to this side of the park. And so I thought we check it out. This side of the park is the furthest from、uh, the entrance to the park from Ginza, for example. So I somehow never make it to this side. I think there's a pond. I think I see a pond over there. Oh, and that's a sakura tree. But it hasn't blossomed yet. Ah, th this is probably a beautiful tree in full bloom. Okay, so this is a lake with a pond. Well, that's pretty. That's very pretty. Hmm, very pretty. So, this is Matsunoki here, and then the sakura tree is here. I can imagine when it's in full bloom,、um, it'll be pink on the, my top left, and then 
you'll see this uh, lake. I mean, it, th this right here would be like a perfect picture. Do you guys see that sculpture in the middle of the pond? Is that a crane or a swan? Kind of looks like a crane. Oh, look at this. There's like a little dry riverbed. Yeah, it looks like a dry riverbed, doesn't it? Hmm. And there's a restaurant here called Hibiya Matsumoto. Oh, this looks kind of nice. Oh, I would love to come here with Satoshi one day. Hey, there's outdoor seating there. Matsumoto. Right next to Matsumoto is this stone bridge here. And there's a sign here talking about it. It says, this is one of the stone bridges that were over the Sakuragawa River in front of the former Onarimon Gate of the Zozoji Temple in Shiba Koen. Interesting, interesting. Let's see what kind of food they have here. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to come here with Satoshi. Oh, I want to eat here on the terrace. Oh, this is great. Let's see. Let's check out the menu. What do they have? Ah, okay. It looks like it's a yoshoku restaurant. Yoshoku. Yeah, they have a yoshoku plate with omuraisu uh, korokke. That's 1800 yen. So fancy prices. This is a seafood chicken gratan. 1350 yen. So not like very cheap, but not bad, I guess. You are paying for the experience. Omelette and chicken rice with double sauce. They also have um, haikara beef curry. And they have omuraisu with hayashi sauce. Ah, this is so relaxing. So quiet and peaceful. Ah. Okay, and right here we have a fountain. Usually there's um the fountain's a bit more spectacular, but the water in the middle is not running today. You know, before the pandemic, they used to hold uh um events here in this area, this whole area. They would have the Oktoberfest. Oh, there we go, there we go. The fountain is working, yay! Yeah, they would have uh, Oktoberfest. They would have like some other food fair. People would be uh, having a lot of fun and drinking and eating. Ah, so relaxing. Oh my goodness. And then there's a stage right there. And they would have um, shows there. Oh, Sakura no Kida. Yes, there's one tree. It's in full bloom. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy I can show you guys one Sakura tree. Look at that. The Sakura tree against the blue sky. This is uh, the whitish, the whitish uh, colored Sakura tree. Sakura flowers, I should say. This used to be one of my favorite places in the park. Right here, this entire area. When I first came to Japan in my 20s, my early 20s, um, I lived not too far from uh, this area and um, I would come to this park to just sit. I like this open space. There's a lot of benches all around. I would have like a bento lunch here. Uh, Memories. This place always have uh, flowers of the season planted all over. Oh, 
Look at that, I found something really neat. Do you guys see something moving in the ground, the grass? Look, it's like a robot. It's a robot lawnmower or something. That is, oh my goodness. I've never seen that. That's so cool. Look at that. <laughs> oh, wow. It's called Mimo by Honda. Oh, wow, that's, don't fall off. Oh. It has sensed the edge. It is going the other way. Sometimes I used to sit on this bench right here. This was like my bench. I would sit here, <clears throat> right next to the statue in the back. I especially enjoyed coming here during the rose season. These, these two pelicans were my favorite as well. <laughs> I really enjoyed checking these guys out. And look, behind the pelican, there's a nice outdoor cafe. You can have coffee, you can have beer, they do have some food. This place is called Hibiya Saro and it's been open since 1949. It's quite nice. And then, right next door, there's another building or I should say house. And it's kind of cool looking because it looks European, like German or something. And this place is called Felice Garden Hibia. Felice Garden Hibia. And I used to think this was a restaurant, but it's not. It, right now it's for garden weddings. This building used to be the former Hibia Park office. And it's built in the German bungalow style and constructed in November 1910. Look at this pretty tree here. All dressed up in pink. Is this Sakura? I wonder. Nandaro. Um, I think it is Sakura. Yeah. The petals, the the shape of the petals say that this is a Sakura tree. Now we're walking over to a mountain. It's not really a real mountain, but it's called the mountain here. It's called Mount Mikasa. First of all, here's a tennis court on this side. I believe there are five courts. Yeah, five courts that you can use. See, the sign, it says Mount Mikasa. So tennis courts to my left and Mount Mikasa to my right. Check it out. Should we go up? It's basically a hill really. Alright, we've made it to the summit. Ah, that was hard. And we are at the top of the hill. It sort of overlooks the park. Actually, it overlooks the tennis court. It's not really a high mountain. You can see all the buildings of uh, the Marunouchi area in the distance. And there, behind those bushes, is the Imperial Palace. So Mount Mikasa is an artificial one made from the leftover soil from the construction work they were doing. They were making ponds in this park. And there's something else here. There's a bell. Not really sure about the story behind the bell, but let's check it out. So here we have a bell. 
It's called the Liberty Bell and it rings at noon every day. So there's some information in English. Supposedly it's a reproduction of the famous Liberty Bell in Philadelphia and was presented to the people of Japan by a group of American companies. Um, the dimensions and tone are identical with the original and it's a symbol of freedom to not only Americans but all mankind. Alright guys, that was a quick walkthrough of Hibiya Park. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, very quick walkthrough, I have to say. Um, I did skip some areas such as uh, the kids' playground with uh, swings and slides. If you have families, you, you might enjoy taking your kids there. Your kids will especially enjoy that area. And I also didn't take you guys to the Japanese garden area because it's partly under construction. Please continue to stay safe, healthy, and happy. I will talk to you on my next video. Bye, everybody. The first time I saw this bridge was not that too long ago. There are many things in Tokyo that I don't know about still, and I'm still discovering.